Hello everyone, it's Fast Frank here. It's been a while since I've posted a video, uh, but I've got something a little different for you today. It's called a wheel winch. The purpose of the wheel winch is uh, to be a substitute for a standard winch that might be on the front bumper of uh, your truck for when you get stuck in the mud or on a steep grade with uh, slippery gravel or what have you. And this is particularly uh, more of a concern when you're pulling a trailer because you've got that extra weight pulling you back down the hill or dragging through the mud. This is the final version. I have a demonstration of how this works using the uh, initial prototype version. Um, but basically what I've got here is a 12 inch trailer wheel. I take that trailer wheel and I re-drill it for the bolt pattern of my truck wheel. So you can see it was originally a five hole. I re-drill it for the six hole of my truck. And then I welded in um, any of the holes that were too close to the re-drilled holes. And you wind up some synthetic winch cable around it. I attach the winch cable using a 5 16 socket head bolt because they have the highest yield strength of any uh, bolt that you can buy. What we have here is threaded rod that is the same thread as the studs that are in the drive wheels of the truck. Some coupling nuts or you can use the uh, the factory lug nuts. And then I have these collars uh, as spacers so that when when I mount this up to the to the wheel on the truck, this will keep the trailer wheel from coming in contact with the truck wheel. This is the factory lug nut, and these are the lug nuts that I purchased at the parts store. And you can see that they are longer and beefier. And they originally came with closed ends. I sawed those off, so I bought a tap and tapped it all the way through. So now I've turned these lug nuts into coupling nuts, and I just leave these on the truck. All right, so here are the mud holes. I've filled them both with water. And uh, now I'll back the truck into it with this uh, 27 foot trailer. I want to reiterate for this specific situation, there are better ways to get out of this than a wheel winch. This is the situation I can create. Uh, this is to simulate a high grade with no traction. If you're on a forest road, which I often am with my camper trailer, we've got two wheel drive truck sunk down to the axle, maybe a 50% grade coming out of this. Uh, this hole here because this isn't actually mud all the way through I just created this mud so this is a hard bank that I have to climb with wet underfoot conditions so as you can see we got water mud a big hole and a big trailer and I ease up on it as soon as it starts to climb that hill we just slip slide away it's slightly uphill this way we could try going back but get a run on it. I'm stuck in mud. So let's put our wheel winch on. So we have our pre-installed lug nuts. The wheel winch is just making up the difference between what you can put to the ground and what you need to get out. I need to put our threaded studs. Finger tight. We don't need the side torqued. And then mount this. And you'll want to put this at or near regular lug nut torque so that the friction between the wheel winch and the, and the lug nuts is what carries the torque rather than bending torque on the threaded rod itself. Okay. Got it hooked hooked up here to our first stake and then the gang plate will bring in the second stake as soon as it starts to move. Then we'll take up the slack. And then start out slow so that it doesn't whip whip up. Just for good measure I'm gonna make it muddier. our way out of this hole.
just a final look at the, the, the depth of the hole that we got out of here. I mean, that's a good eight, 10 inches there that we were in, plus the depth of that water coming straight out. So it's been a couple days and the water has dried out. So I just wanted to give you a clear indication of just how deep it was um, and also how steep the climb was coming out. So if you look here, I have an angle finder. And I'm not sure if the camera can focus or not, but the climb coming out was, looks like a 35 degree angle coming out, which means that the grade load of coming up out of this hole was equivalent to, it was more than a 50% grade. Climbing a 55% grade with the traction equivalent of wet mud was what the wheel winch accomplished there.